Well, let's get started. Hey guys, today Timmy and I are back with another adventure. And for this one, we're gonna be having something super special. Yeah, we're gonna be building a park for dinosaurs. This is gonna be really cool and awesome. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna be starting our build by adding fences for an exhibit like so and building it up. Since we're gonna be putting in some pretty big creatures inside, then we'll have to be able to contain them. Now it's time to add a little way to get in here. How are you even going to enjoy the exhibit if you're just going to watch from the sidelines? That's right, Eric. I'm going to be doing that too. Now that we've carved out an entrance there, it's time to add in an actual door. Normal Minecraft doors won't do, so it's better to have these heavy-duty modded doors. that you're gonna be prettying that door up too, Eric. It's so like you to do that. <laughs> you're correct on that, buddy. Just adding some lights here. Now it's time to add a little sign up there for the visitors. That'll do. All right, we can't just have an exhibit or zoo without a path, right? Let's put that in right now. Now it's time to make a little division for where we're gonna be putting the dinosaurs in. Don't forget to have lots of areas, Eric! Okay, now it's time to put down a major attraction here, aside from the animals, of course. So we're gonna be building this up and making a nice museum for all the visitors to come and look at. I'll be making it look extra fancy and put down decorations that are gonna be related to archaeology, like feeders, incubators, and all that stuff. A lot of dinosaurs are herbivores, meaning they like eating plants and leaves, that kind of stuff. And since we want them to enjoy their stay here, then we're gonna be adding a lot of plants here and there inside the exhibits. Then a bit of fossils too to spruce up the place. Okay, so let's start off the showcase with my dinosaur zoo first. Doesn't it look pretty with all the stuff going on here? <laughs> I'll be giving you guys a first-hand tour of the place. Oh, wow. You even put a little painting exhibit here outside, similar to my little museum. Yeah, I put in a lot of details here, even having some little glass holder things. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> going to the exhibit, Eric. Let's check that out. Look at my giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. I bet you're scared to death right now. But don't worry, it isn't real and it won't hurt you. I promise. Wow, this looks pretty neat, huh? It isn't just 2D pixel art, too. You actually put some effort into it. You know what would be cool? If we rode on it like it was a horse. <laughs> but overall, you have a cute thing going on here, buddy. That's nice. Yeah, I also made him really green because I just thought it would fit the whole theme better. I don't know, though. I feel like if we had more time to build, then I would be able to make something even bigger, like a Spinosaurus. <laughs> Speed building is definitely hard, buddy. You're right there. But this is a test of how good we can build under pressure. Like Master Chef, but not for cooking. <laughs> well, if you say that I did a good job, then I believe you. I may not have put a lot of time into building this because of the time limit, but I really, really like how it turned out. Just a cute little dinosaur zoo. Just with one dinosaur, though. <laughs> In the end, you were able to make a cute build, and I bet the people watching this are gonna like it a lot. And who knows, they might actually build something like this in the future. <laughs> That's reassuring. All right, guys, now that we've taken a look at my build with a few other shots here and there, it's time to go check out Eric's Jurassic Park. All right, let's segue on over to my build. Okay, so this is Eric's little dinosaur park. Just from the outside, this looks amazing! It's simple, but whenever it's you who makes something, it just looks so nice. You're the only person who can make a fence look that good. 
<laughs> Timmy, you flatter me. Do you like that reinforced steel door entrance? And that neat little sign up there for the visitors? Yes, definitely. I can't wait to go inside and look at everything. But let's move to the sides a bit. Wow, you have a ton of dinosaurs here. Well, more than one, that's for sure. I'm so jelly. Now let's go into the park and take a closer look at everything. So this is the Brachiosaurus exhibit on your left. And doesn't it look peaceful? They're generally friendly unless you provoke them. So they're able to coexist with those other normal animals over there. That's so amazing. And it's so tall. Good thing it doesn't just jump out of the fences. <laughs> Whoa, this exhibit on the right is also super cool. Go on and get in there, Timmy. Don't worry, they're trained and all that, so they won't harm you unless you harm them. Also, don't put your hand in their mouth. <laughs> Aw, these little raptor things are so cute. I think they're the ones I saw in those movies we watched. So cool. They aren't made out of blocks, too. Okay, let's check out the Brachiosaurus. That's definitely gonna blow your socks off. Oh, look, it's sitting down on the ground. <laughs> let's see if we can wake it up so you can look at it in all its glory. Wow, it got even taller. I thought it was already standing up, actually. That is so cool. It's awesome how you got actual dinosaurs here, like in the movies. Now let's move on. So we're gonna go to the main attraction of the entire park now, which is the White Dino Museum right here. It has a ton of attractions. Come on. Let's go up the stairs and see what's in store. Whoa, there are fossils here of dinosaurs and some technological stuff that I don't know of. That's awesome. It's kind of like a little lab in an exhibit. Yep, I thought it through and came up with it after remembering that most of the movies have a museum of their own and not just the dinosaur exhibit. Whoa, there's a dinosaur out there. Oh, that's pretty scary. He looks a lot less friendly than the other ones we looked at earlier. So you have around five dinosaurs in total and seven if you include these fossils, too. You can actually make it have more, buddy. If you use the technology at the sides, like the incubators, you can turn a dinosaur egg into a fully grown dinosaur in a jiffy. Just be careful not to break anything, though, because if you do, then you're gonna have to pay for it. Hmm, <laughs> whoa! And look, there's another dinosaur inside there. And now that I'm able to look at it closer, that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! That's so awesome! Uh, what happened when I flipped the lever? It didn't seem like anything happened. Let's do it one more time, Eric. Maybe it just glitched out. Well, you have to feed the dinosaurs. So this lever lets you do that by spawning in a cow in the middle for them to feast on. Now, it's mean for the cows, but it's pretty cool for the dinosaurs, eh? Just don't overdo it, because if they get really spoiled, then that's bad news for everyone. Wow, that's super awesome and super dark at the same time. Can we try spawning in a ton at once, Eric, so they can have lots to eat? Yay, there we go. They're basically gonna have a buffet at the end of this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep spawning more, buddy, so brace yourself, because if they get spoiled and try to hunt you down, then don't come blaming me. T-Rexes are super scary. I'm glad we have this glass divider between us and them, because I wouldn't want to end up like those cows right there. I think I can't even outrun them if it ever came to that. <laughs> I think no one can. Anyways, that's basically it for today's adventure, guys. Timmy and I made some awesome dinosaur parks for you. Yeah, so don't forget to like, comment on which park you like better, and subscribe to get more videos like this from us. That's right, so that's it for today, and we'll see you later, guys. Goodbye!